Lord Maxwell, and your companions. Forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Ju shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the Great Spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there. I might never have returned safely to Niakara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please return to us safely! 